से In the last video, we have entered a new area in Dark Souls 3, High Wall of Nasrik. So let's get into it. We've met some weird enemies in here, and an old lady from Annabella Horror Movie. But before we move on, let's try to kill this dragon and loot the items that's in front of him. We can also still use the katana that we got from the master. A unique katana characterized by the fine craftsmanship of an eastern land where it was forced. The finely sharpened blade cuts flesh like butter and causes bleeding but breaks easily as a result. So it has low durability. So we just can't use it all the time. As soon as hunting stands to rapidly execute a launching slash with normal attacks or a deflecting parry with strong attack. So that was the attack that he used when he parried me. Let's explore high wall of Lothric for a while, then we'll return to kill the dragon. Doxus 2, I mean Doxus 1, these throwing knives used to poison me. So let's be grateful it doesn't anymore. Is that how I hit him all? This looks suspicious. Normally, Miyazaki can just put a suspicious looking goal over here. Let's go down here first, then we'll go outside. Oh, it's you, it's you again. We'll have to use the parry move that the master used on us. Of course it's locked. We'll have to find that key. That's a sword sword from Dark Souls 1.
Was he just floating what the fuck? in the mid air? One shot was R2 attack. Heavy. Another resort sword and the wooden shield that I have. Mail breaker. I've always ignored this weapon in Doxus. This hard, it's less sword can pierce through a tough armor and boasts a deadly critical attack. Aim carefully and attack in runs forward the lance to pierce through enemy shields and inflict damage directly. Let's put it on. There is an item there, how do I get to it? I guess we'll have to go up there to the roof and go downstairs. Oh look, it's a prison. So he came on here from nothing. We also have to find a key to release him. Let's come back here another time. And we can't break open this door. So we can't do anything on this floor until we have a key to unlock this door and the other one. those freaks it's another stone dragon Let's try the fireball on him. Oh, he's weak, he's weak. Oh. And I got him. 
At least, at least the bonfire isn't too far from here. Touristic. I lost it for my business friends. Let's wait for him, for him to go outside. Let's kill the simple do it. Okay. Oh, transforms. The lizard creature quickly before it disappears. It almost vanished. I hear some fat and wood footsteps, like heavy armor footsteps. Let's just get rid of this arrow gun. Stick to this one. Did he not just die? He fell from this height and still live. If you're gonna use a seal, so will I. This place is a huge.
cream blossom. The haunted legion of Farum are remembered for using this annual plant to milk out near clear water to swing their mighty swords with abandon. Weapons forced by soul. Yeah, we read this in the first video. Weapons are easily wielded and have higher attack but lose scaling effects. We will have to rely on our doses and the skills. Look, we have the broadsword from Dark Souls 2. I've used it for half of the game. From my experience in Dark Souls 1 and 2, this can be a mimic chest, so let's attack it. Never mind, it's not. Finally, a metal shield. Orthodox metal shield engraved with a crest depicting a silver eagle. Medium seals are the most average of seals providing a practical, a practical balance of damage absorbs stability and weight. Equipping the seal in the left hand allows one to perform the skill of the right hand weapon. Wooden seals are light manageable and offer relatively high magic absorption. Small seals also and it's from orthodox like this one. Small seals offer little damage absorption and stability but they are lightweight and ideal for carrying. It is never unwise to wear a sturdy form of head protection against arrows and other somatic threats. The knight has served as one of the three pillars since ancient times and serves place alongside the weapons as a symbol of nothing. Only those possessing knights resolve are fit to wear this garment. This musty rusted hunk of metal befits one reduced to silver. So let's make a strategy here. When this guy goes down the stairs, we go behind this one and backstab him. Then we will throw a firebomb at the other one.
Um, never mind. There is a dog here and another great axe dog. Let's kill the dog first. Now let's deal with this. I can't break this From my experience, I think if I throw a fire bomb here, it's gonna explode So let's roll him Bruh. But I almost died Finally, an Estes heart. We can upgrade our Estes flask. I hear something. So, what's down here? No, no, not at all. It's very fun of on if only I die to him. A silky. There is no shortage of brass sieves in Lostry. And these particular sieves likely skin the wool from the undead cellar. What they are only willing to practice. Their silvery on the high road for their field of two strip castle. Rumored to devour men, it keeps them clear of its grounds. So, this might unlock the locked doors we've seen earlier. So I was right, there is a fat dude here. I'm not gonna miss around with him right now. There is another floor down below us. So there is nothing here. Oh, never mind. Uh, Let's hope it's not a mimic chest. A 
pass through a straight sword. Oh my god, it's someone from Dark Souls 1, I think. We can't use it. Astora before its fall was a land replete with royal blood, and this weapon is both a reminder and heirloom of that era. Even a drop. Can't risk it. Let's go back to the bonfire. Let's try to kill the dragon man. At least from here. A stronger bow and arrows. But let's go loot the whip items. The dragon will deal with them. We need a strategy here. Let's just go loss.
and finally we have made it past this dragon. Third time a charm, so this test might be a mimic. Let's prepare. Yes, it is. First mimic in Dark Souls 3. I don't know what the deep battle axe. Its weight can be used to inflict high damage but must be used carefully as it leaves its wielder open to retaliation. Easily wielded axe crafted for battle and inflicting stun. It's time to loot the items as, as we have opened the soap. Now, nothing will stop us from looting. So you're very peaceful and using the ladder. The dragon doesn't affect the area over there, so we'll use it as a safe zone. At least we got out and came in. It's one of the OP weapons that I've used in Dark Souls 1.
We just have to retrieve our souls. Now I am relieved that we've got those items. Next is now let's move on. Perhaps the cell key will open the prisoner's cell. I've got great easy. Is the dragon slayer is a dog three? It's locked. Perhaps it's it needs another key, or we can open it from the other side. Let there be it. Finally. You will find her in our way. Sure pay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then? So, grant request or refuse? Will not refuse this man. This poor man's re request. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat. Of the undead settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to Oak. Perhaps he will become our merchant when we help him. And I'll do mine. Where did they disappear to? Increases damage absorbs when its HP is low. A ring set with a large rare tear stone zul 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 temporarily boosts damage absorption when its HP is low. This stone is said to be a tear of sorrow of the goddess Kaisa. And of course, tears are always more beautiful near death. So 
so we'll have to find where is the lady in the undead settlement he said it's below my wall of Lothric There is an item here, there, down there, it's everywhere. Oh my god, I forgot about you. How did it end that? I will hit them. It's uh, another kind of fire bombs. Our strategy here: when he gets close, we jump and attack him, so he will receive high damage. So we can just ignore him and go down. The ladder and sneak. There was another platform below us. I didn't know that. Just ignore this simple thing. How do we get on that, on that platform? Now. Hell. Mm -hmm. Because I forgot I have the scene on. I was trying to do the ill one attack. If only I can backstab him, he will be easy peasy. And to backstab him, we will have to use a leather 
strategy. So you have to hold the circle button and the joystick at the same time to slam it down to the matrix. Unlike in Dark Souls 2 you have to only use the circle. It's another fat dude but impaled down by these spears. Why can't I backstab him? Yes, you can. What? what the fuck is that? What the fuck uh, did he just do? Square. I would have lost the souls if I had died. It is gone. Let's use our lighting. He doesn't see us, he can still see the sword. So I've wasted all my lighting buffs. We have to rely, rely on our weapons now. Let's use the uh, katana. Ah! 
Oh, I think the raid is a fault. Why couldn't I hit him? One of those OP weapons. Those are empty. We'll have to get that item somehow. looks familiar to me, but I can't remember who it was. Oh, so that's how. We'll have to summon it. Bro, the, Bro. the drift mm, killed me. This is the first time. We we'll have to run past all these enemies. Let's ignore this fan dude. It was worth it. Ring of sacrifice. Well, it's helpful, but it's just temporary. It breaks when we die. This light looks like it's, it's ambush time. Oh my god, it's ambush. But they can stand a chance with, it, with this attack.
does this lead to the elevator in the near the first bonfire? Oh, it does. That window looks like Dr. Strange's. Oh my god, more of these guys. Can't we just avoid them? Oh my god, look, it's uh, the turtle guy from the intro cutscene. I guess we'll have to kill them all. We have got the helm of Lost Lake. A pole arm of with a sharp heart bronze hit that inflicts thrust attacks. The Lokirin Lokrini is wielded overhand like a hammer or can be swung from the side to, to break through shields and its skill is just the sweeping. Let's get inside the I think it's at source. There's an old lady. Let's talk to her. Ah, She's not an undead. Speak, unkindled one. Your Majesty. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Sin. Why is my look twisted? Gone to their journey homes, converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall, forge on through the great gate, and raise this banner to proceed. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an Finally, old our first covenant. If you fear trespassers, Dark spirits drawn by the embers. Then etch this upon your heart, and the old Concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. Unkindled one, head to the high wall's base. Go through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. But beware. The dog keeps a close eye on things. That's interesting. I wonder what type of dog she is talking about. We will have to keep an eye out for the dog she is talking about. Don't see me.
So one of the best things in Doxo 3 is that you can freely walk and move while drinking and eating. Like in Doxo 2 you have to literally stop to heal while the enemy hits you whenever he likes. I still wonder What's this statue? So what? things here weird I wonder what's the lore behind this in the turtles This makes me uneasy. It apparently looks like a boss battle arena. So I think here's where the dog sleeps. But where is he? I don't see a dog. I see no dog in here. Also, why is the, the gate? filled with roots oh cutscene Goku never turn your back to the enemy that's rule number one Is that supposed to be the fucking dog? Can someone tell me is that supposed to be the fucking dog? It's fucking hideous. Worth, worth it if the Goliath found it. So that's his name for it. What's that uh, st status? Oh my god, I'm... He's kinda tanky. He 
hits hard. I'm frustrating. Fucking that frustrating. Bro, he hits hard. His attacks is tanky, and so his health bar. But how is that a fucking dog? He's not even near to the head of a dog. Maybe we will be lucky here and kill him second try. But I'm not sure because of my health bar. You can see him by the phone. predict that attack. It comes off suddenly. I think his head is his weak point, so let's focus on hitting it. Why can't I hit him with this special attack? I still can't predict the pattern. What's 
छे दो छे फुकिंग दो Jesus fucking kitten is a call me call me ha At least we saw one of his attacks He sprints when he's mad. There's a second phase. weapon and reads the slum can literally read with you can see his arms from the lines of the book okay I have no hope of finishing him off right now. This is attempt. Zinza call me ha me ha. His OST looks kinda. It looks familiar. It's the one from one of the memes.
to I'll have to stand below you to have my attacks. Yazoo still looks very familiar. It was used in one of the memes. That soil in one of the videos. They used uh, this OST when his father came in. on my souls now I will release my anger on that boss this fucking place sucks I'm gonna release all my anger to that boss. Come on, try and kill me this time. With this katana you shall die. I can predict this attack now. I'm Goku. I have advanced to kill you. You shall not kill me. You shall die in this attempt. You fucking asshole. How dare you?
stop mocking Lieutenant Rusui Sama and reusing Kamehameha. Oh. Your dog face shall be put in hell. After I cut down your head. Come at me. Come at me again. Come at me for the tools of Red Valley. Let's use our empathy. It's our only last resort right now. This is Rosie Sama. Now we are coming. Down. You shall not kill me again. And you, you shall not walk. Not in Rosie Sama. Let's go level up first at the fire leg shrine. Only one. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Oh, let's burn the undead bones out. Never mind. We don't have one yet. Now let's kill all the knights. Make it to the boss area before we end the fitting. I'm not here. Now you're making yourself look strong, huh? Take this as my gratitude.
You shall not kill me. I shall not die to the likes of you. Also guys, 99% of you watch my videos and not subscribe to my channel. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more exciting content from me. Thank you for watching.